Welcome to Earth Science, everybody. Conduction Lab, take eight. I'm hoping this one works. Let's talk about what we did here. We took a hot cup, insulated, so that really the only way that energy is leaving ideally is through this metal bar. I, well, we all know that it's imperfect, that there's cracks in the cups, and I mean, there's a hole for the thermometer. But we took a hot cup of water and a cold cup of water and tried to have energy travel by the form of conduction, molecule to molecule transfer of energy, through this aluminum metal bar from the hot cup into the cold cup. Okay, that's why we're calling it the conduction lab. And I think that's our first blank. Energy conducts through the metal bar from the hot cup to the cold cup. All right, the big question in this lab, the big goal, the reason why we did it twice, honestly, why you sat here and did it back to back, was to try to make this number right here better. If you want to label this, what that number is, is our, is our inefficiency. How much did we lose out of the hot cup? How much did we gain in the cold cup? Let me just make up some numbers. Let's say that we lost, say, 30 degrees out of this cup. But over here, um, we gained only 10. That means there's 20 degrees worth of energy, which is a little bit of a not perfect way to say it, but close enough for us. But 20 degrees worth of energy is missing. It's gone, right? Knowing that energy is never destroyed, Following the laws of thermodynamics, it's not that it's gone. It's that it went somewhere else. It didn't make it into the cold cup. Some of it goes away. I would like us to write these like longer wavelengths of energy emanating from warm things. Remember, warm things in our universe give off radiation. They radiate heat energy. If you remember which it's going to be a good idea to do when it comes to test time next week. That it's infrared radiation that things give off. So I have an infrared camera that this does not, this is not designed to pick up light the way that like a regular camera is or a cell phone, right? Is designed to detect that heat energy that things give off. So if you point it at yourself and you're free to play with this thing, if you want, you'll see yourself glowing heat energy, infrared energy. And that's why there's a difference. That's why it wasn't perfectly efficient. So if I manage to lose 30 out of this, this is, again, this is really the crux of the lab. When it comes time for the conclusion, this is what matters. If I lost 30 out of this and 10 out of this, my difference, the thing that's really important, the thing you want in this lab was 20 degrees. And I'm just making up these numbers. Please don't write 20 degrees in there because you want to use your numbers. So maybe it's not a bad idea to, to like note that this, this question right here basically tells us what our inefficiency is. I had to look up how to spell that. You guys know me in spelling. Inefficiency. That's what that number is showing us. How inefficient was, was our energy transfer? I lost 20 degrees in the process. So the goal of the second one then was to make it more efficient. And how do you make it more efficient? Well, we want less heat energy radiating out of these bars, so we add insulation. And I know that we've talked about insulation in this uh, class before because of incoming solar radiation sunlight. This is literally the stuff that you wrap around pipes and in your walls. Insulation. But second part, you added insulation, you tried to wrap up that pipe, and you tried to have that energy transfer be a bit more efficient. Not necessarily checking out how much it went down or up by, but how much was lost throughout the course of the experiment. So you lost this much on the first one. You lost this much on the second one. Those are your two inefficiencies. And that's what you're going to compare when it comes time to the, to do the conclusion, which one was more efficient. Ideally, the second one was more efficient because once you wrap it, you lose less heat energy. Now, given that we have, you know, beat up equipment that things maybe go wrong in a lab that maybe the lid was cracked, you know, who knows, a lot of things can go slightly wrong in this and maybe it didn't work. I wouldn't ask you to go back and change data. That's a terrible idea always. You won't lose points if it didn't become more efficient. But I would like your explanation, your conclusion to use your numbers. Tell me what happened in your individual lab. And if it didn't work, then we'll just say why. Hey, maybe my cup, the, the thing was cracked open and heat energy was leaking. You know, that's fine. This rough setup is basically what you did in the other lab. It's the same kind of conclusion. I just noted what we did here. It's going to take a couple of sentences, explain the experiment, make your claim, 
and really it should all revolve around the wrapped one being more efficient than the than the other one and then give me your results did it work or did it not work and then maybe explain why should have added that in the results and why and conclusions or implications it can be as easy as hey we've bought energy through propane or uh, natural gas or electricity to heat up hot water in our basement when that hot water goes across the basement if i insulate those pipes maybe i make that energy transfer more efficient and uh use my money more efficiently what do you think pretty doable this says to do a hypothesis you can you can skip that one because we've already done the lab that's kind of silly at this point plug your data in there this we got 30 boxes for 30 minutes again i can help with the y-axis just like the other labs and rate of change i'm going to be looking at these to we've been practicing them you should be getting pretty comfortable with them but remember i want to see this whole entire thing written don't just write one number and walk away and say i'm good what happened you over the course of 30 minutes so write it had a temperature change of what so if this one went down by by 30 right i don't know what it, what it did maybe it went from 90 to 60 whatever right it went down by 30 this is gonna be easy math so I'm down by 30 degrees C over the course of 30 minutes, that equals one degree C per minute. That's all got to be there. The change divided by the 30 minutes equals your answer with that label. If you use Fahrenheit, that's fine. Just make it Fahrenheit, right? They're all going to be over 30 minutes. Give me that on all four. Don't just, here's, here's a bad answer. I'll have people hand in a lab that just has one and that's it. I, I, can't, I can't do anything with that. All right, hook me up, make your make your lab report look official. Give me the numbers, okay? I think that's it, folks. Best of luck. You can do it. And we're past the big monster data labs. Well done. Congrats.